So the opening game in this three game series. Let's head out to Angel Stadium in Anaheim and welcome in Mike Bordick and Mike Robert Andino in that number nine spot. He certainly has found a home. Uh, he's got base hits in 10 of the 13 games. Only Adam Jones on this team has more base hits. And I'm wondering from your perspective, you worked with him quite a bit in spring training. Has he crossed that line from being just the valuable utility player to where now he's a reliable starter in this lineup? Well, I think so. Yeah, he's uh, he's more comfortable, I think, in his position, you know, as, a, as an everyday player. Last year, you know, the experience he had playing every day, I think really, you know, contributed to the way he's uh, progressing this year. He's just a lot more comfortable out there. His work habits are, are a lot better. They're just more consistent. He knows what he's going to do on a daily basis, and he prepares the right way. Now, the Orioles, Mike, certainly have taken advantage of the opportunistic home run this year, in particular on this road trip going 5-2. and two. And a look at the updated numbers. The Orioles now lead the major leagues in the percentage of their runs scored off their home runs. 492 the percentage. They've scored 29 of their 59 runs off the home runs they have hit on the year. That is the best ratio, the highest ratio in Major League Baseball. So I guess the question is, when you look at this, certainly you're never going to say, wow, we're hitting too many home runs. But I'm wondering, is it dangerous long term to have to rely on the long ball in those big innings as opposed to maybe manufacturing runs and scoring more runs that way? Well, ideally, they'd like to do it all. You know, they'd like to be able to manufacture runs early in the game. And then, you know, if they're down by one or two, be able to hit a three run home run at the end like they've been doing. So uh, and, and they've hit 15 solo home runs to lead the league. You know, to get more guys on base and, and add to more run production would also be beneficial to them. But, you know, they want to be able to cover all their bases and have all those weapons and to be able to produce and manufacture runs earlier in the game, especially would help them. And in the opener of this three game series tonight, Brian Mattis goes to the mound. It's been well documented for Brian. Uh, he's lost 11 consecutive decisions dating back to last year. Uh, hasn't won a game since his second start last year in June when he came off the DL. As you look at Brian tonight, what are you expecting? It's the opening game of a series. And, and for this young man, I mean, he just needs a win to feel good about himself, doesn't he? Well, there's no doubt about it. You know, his confidence, you could see it building through spring training. You know, his stuff was better, uh, more electric, more like the Brian Mattis we, we saw a couple years ago. So, uh, you know, he's had a couple rough outings here to begin the year, but I'll tell you what, you know, you build on this momentum that this pitching staff has created. We've had some really nice quality starts from some of our pitchers, and hopefully he can get, carry that torch into the start of this series. All right, the pregame thoughts of Mike Bordick. He'll be back with Gary Thorne for the call of the game at the top of the hour.